Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Everywhere we look right now inside of Level Up in FIFA 23, it looks like there's places to grind, to get packs, to get cards completed and objectives, and that's a good thing, right? Well, is there a point where it becomes too much? That's the way I'm feeling. I don't know if you guys are feeling that same way because of yesterday's content. I want to take a look through the new content that we got and why this Level Up promo just kind of starting to feel like a little bit too much with some of the objectives that were being pushed to play. So we'll take a look at that and hopefully today we get some good upgrade packs because I would like a chance at packing Gretzka, Martinelli, Darwin Nunez and the like. So we're going to talk about all that and more today, especially a market that is still moving a bit scared. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, drop a thumbs up on them and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's look at yesterday's content though because we did have three brand new SBCs. The first of which um, we're just going to have to laugh, right? We're just going to have to laugh at this player pick SBC coming back. Uh, not the 93 plus shapeshifters, but instead the 89 plus FIFA World Cup hero player pick. I don't know why we're still getting this SBC, man. And I want to play a little game with you guys. What is the downvote percentage on the footbin SBC? Let's take a look. 95% downvote on the 89 plus World Cup player pick. I mean, I don't know if many people are doing that, especially with the 93 plus shapeshifter um, back as well. And the icon pack that is available right now as well. So there's a lot of SBCs to grind and to craft, which is good. But it's kind of comical that 89 plus is coming out unless you have fodder for days and you just want something to do that one right there is not probably not going to give you something that you really want it was so much worth crafting the 93 plus or even the icon pack at that rate instead of that hero player pick but nonetheless we had that sbc yesterday now something that is much more worth crafting as well is also a lot cheaper the axel witzel card and man if you compare this guy to Chalmany, guys, I'm telling you, the upgraded Axel Witzel compared to the upgraded Chalmany for the price that this card is compared to the price that Chalmany is, like 1.3, 1.4 million coins and a, a lot of games to upgrade, I think this is tremendous value. This SBC is 20,000 coins, and then all you have to do is go play, I think it's 10 games, 10 games with the uh, 91 Chalmany to then get the 93, um, yeah, 10 separate matches with five La Liga players with a five-star weak foot. He's low medium, which the work rate's there. Okay, definitely a stay back CDM, uh, but 99 heading accuracy, really good stats all the way around. 99 composure, great passing. Can even shoot a volley, 99 volleys. That would be fun. Uh, but for that low of a grind, for that little of amount of a grind and such a cheap SBC, considering Chamani is 20 matches, and 1.3, 1.4 million coins. I really feel like this Axel Witzel is a very nice, cheap alternative to that Chalmany card. So I got nothing against that one. GG's to EA, and you could tell 86% upvote. I like that. Now, unfortunately, yesterday, we did not see a crafting objective, though. I was really hoping that we had Savonier last week. I thought we were going to get another one. Um, but instead, we did not. So I guess there's maybe a tiny bit of hope that would come for today. But I really think that's not going to happen, um, especially with the SBC for the crafting upgrade expiring so soon. So EA surprised us. But uh, yeah, I was a little bit bummed to not see a crafting objective player dropped yesterday. Now, the last part of content that we had yesterday, yes, it does revolve around an SBC, but it revolves around an SBC and an objective combination. And that is the draft token upgrade which is always a w in the draft token upgrade drops right but with the draft objectives during this game right now guys this is where it's getting too much for me think about what we have right now for a gameplay grind in july guys we have of course all the level up cards that we are trying to get from team one and team two all the games if you're going after these that's a grind in squad battles, rivals, foot champs. That's the main grind right now. This is literally, this promo is all about play to upgrade, right? Play to style, play to upgrade these cards, level up these cards. And now we have not only a cup that we're supposed to be playing five days a game in to get all the packs that we possibly can get. We now have a draft objective. So we're supposed to be playing draft the cup friendly mode and then also squad battles or rivals however you're getting these guys done to get all the upgrades man this is like too much ea like this is too much gameplay grind especially for this time of the year i mean it's kind of sad because this is the type of gameplay grind and this is the type of content that is like honestly peak content like think about it a cup the draft objectives with an SBC and all of these level up cards. We, they, this is incredible content, right? So much to do, so much to grind. 
But at this stage of the game, it more so just makes you think, man, I don't know if I want to play the game that much. Like, I'm still trying to work through Renato. I got more games to go on that. Kind of combining him and Darwin together with some of the other, you know, Tiago Jallo, who's pretty easy to get done, Atal, easy to get done. I'm still working on trying to get some of these level up cards that might go into my main team. Why do I want to spend that much time going through a cup and now draft as well so it's a bit too much for me let me know what you guys think but i think ea i mean again w content and we love it we love the efforts being shown here but like it's just it's just too much for me so yeah i'm hoping for a bit of a menu grind this week as well i haven't done too many upgrade packs last week i'm gonna do some more this week um and i also would love to craft these player picks at the very least so i'm gonna try to turn to a little bit more of an svc grind this week if possible. And I, I really hope that that's where it goes this week too, because man, there's so much gameplay grind out there. But let me know how you guys feel about that down in the comments. It's great to have options once again. But it just feels like that is a bit too much. Now let's talk about the market a little bit. As expected, you've got level up team two cards dropping a little bit lower. I'm keeping an eye on Shao many right now because he was 1.4 mil last night, went up to about 1.6, and now he's back down to about 1.2, 1.3. I picked one up at 1.27. I hope that he can go up a bit more. I also picked up a Darwin Nunez um, at 580k. That's more of just to play with. I mean, I think this Nunez is probably going to end up going up a bit further. I think a couple of these cards are going to go up a bit further after their prices crash down to the lowest they have been yet. Uh, Goretzka right now, is is he going up right now? Goretzka is 2.4. He was just 2.2. Martinelli was really low. Varane is the lowest he has been. And a lot of these guys, I do believe, will have some bounces today. We will have some rises on a few of these cards, uh, namely Nunez, Chameni. I can see it. Goretzka is already going. And even on the lower tier, uh, Thiago Jalo. I mean, he was already, what, 32K? 33k footman had him at and now he's at 36 he was 61k yeah a lot of people are getting this objective done but one thing we saw last week with the level one level up team one cards is that they rose really really nice like really really nice on monday morning um i remember seeing like davies exploded on monday morning guys because a lot of people wake up and they got all right time to play today time to get moving on these objectives and you see a lot of these cards really really have some rises on the middle to low tier and on the top tier. So I wouldn't be surprised if there were some fluctuations out there today on some of these. So if you're trying to get some objectives done, trying to get some games in, might not be a bad time to go and to look at that. Really what the market this week hinges on is footies, right? Footies or whatever promo is next. We're guessing that it's footies because of where we are in July and, and footies has already been kind of shown to us through the pack code and we've been talking about it and we've been hyping it up because it's coming. It's coming. It's just a matter of when, right? So it's really, it's really got to be footies this week. Um, the only thing that could really impact the market a ton. And I still think it would have an impact on these level up cards, team one and team two. So if you're trying to get some games in, I would still urge you the best practice is going to be get as many games in as a short amount of time as you can. If you know you've got a couple hours to grind, sit down get that player, get those games in and then just get it out because um, over time, these cards, of course, are going to drop as more and more people get the objectives done so i do expect these guys to be lower than where they are right now um by the end of the week because just like we saw with team number one they did drop off a good amount um in that second weekend and of course uh, that would be also during the start of probably footies so a lot going on with the market there and just a word for team one cards too like man these guys just keep dropping de bruyne six and a half mil davies davies Werner, and enzo have kind of found like their range like Werner 300k Enzo about 280. Davies is between like 440, 450. He's 494 right now. I saw him at 440 earlier. Um, and then Renato is about 3.8 million coins as well. So those cards, man, I think still people are doing those objectives. Like I'm still working on Renato Sanchez, but you got to be really, really careful with those by the end of the week because the objectives go away and those cards then just become uh, cool cards on the market that could have been something better. Um, of course, for a lot of people and they won't have as much demand but they'll still have some i bet they'll be good to trade with in the next couple of weeks as long as they don't get released back into packs right away so be careful with those and the rest of the market i was just trying to take a look at some shapeshifters cards i'm noticing some pretty sizable drop-offs here on you know joao felix is 1.09 that's pretty low for him some of your middle to top tier shapeshifters the young 1.5 that's low eto is down for a shapeshifter icon, 158. Martial's a bit low. Zaha's even down a little bit. So you're starting to see, again, some more prices just trickle off a little bit. Nothing that crazy. Mara's 1.16. 
that's pretty low for him. What was it yesterday? He was 1.28, went down all the way to 1.13. If I could have snagged a 1.1 flat, that would have been great. But, you know, there's still going to be fluctuations you can trade in and out of. Again, this week, guys, it really just all depends on the panic and the hype for the upcoming promo footies. That's really going to bring a lot of a lot of people don't play FIFA in the summer until footies comes out. Then they come running back to the game because footies is just footies and it has a reputation and it has just an aura about it of always bringing good content. EA have delivered so many years past. And that's the real big catalyst that we're waiting on right now to make things change a lot on this market. Now, let's talk about today on Monday a little bit more as well, because we should hopefully get some decent content today, something that would be fun to grind. We mentioned the SBCs, right? That's where I'd be looking today. Um, I don't know what day it was last week that we had Alexis McAllister. I think it was Thursday, if I'm remembering correctly. But seeing this SBC is reminding me, hopefully we get one transfer SBC per week at this stage. Now, options that it could be James Madison, Jude Bellingham, and Kunku, of course. There's a lot of names that we could get for transfer player SBCs. One thing I will say is McAllister was in the EAFC trailer. Maybe that helps. Who, the other guys that we saw in there, that's the names I just rattled off there. I don't know if Nkunku was in the trailer, but at least Bellingham and Madison were. Maybe those guys have a higher chance of getting a transfer card. I don't know, but hopefully we get more transfer player SBC soon. Watch out for the leaks, guys, because right now it's just a bit quiet on the leak front. We actually do not have anything at the moment in terms of player SBC leaks. But again, since it's been the tail end here of the end of FIFA, um, as FIFA 23 comes to a close, it really feels like the leaks have slowed down. I don't know what the reasoning for that is. Um, but it definitely feels like we're not getting as much information information ahead of time. And if we do, it's kind of like an hour or two or three hours before the SBC drops. So it's not like a ton of time to prepare. And, you know, we could have a player SBC today. Today also could just be an upgrade pack day. 81 or 82 plus player picks I would 100% expect to see on the game today. Hopefully they dropped the big ones. Go 82 plus EA. Why not? Um, I mean, you dropped the 81 plus the last two weeks or the last week for sure. Golds still, actually, golds aren't that expensive, huh? That crafting upgrade, since we didn't get one yesterday, golds are down. I would definitely take a look at some common golds today. 350 for those. If you want to do some player picks, try to hit yourself um, a level up team two card. Try to go for one of those and at least give yourself a shot at a Nunez or a Martinelli, or even if you just want to try to pack like somebody like Tiago Jello so you don't have to buy them or something like that. Today might be a good time to do that. And golds have not been this cheap for a hot minute so i would definitely keep an eye on those and uh maybe pick up a few of those because that would be a great pickup before a player pick sbc were to come today and regardless a triple 80 plus pack when golds are 350 coins that is phenomenal value for this right now that is crazy value with the cards that we have in packs the fact you can upgrade them that's amazing so i would definitely stock your club if you have any aspirations of doing any upgrade packs this week on this game. Now, speaking of upgrade packs, last week we had one dropped on Monday that was the 83 times 25 as a part of level up team number one. Something like that is going to come today. I really hope it's the 83 times 25 again. Like, literally, just, just do that again, EA. I know the pack weight on those was kind of mid, but it was at least a pretty big pack. And there was interest there, at least on my side of things, because it wasn't that expensive. And in 83 times 25, when you only had to turn in two squads, like you're turning in 22 players to get 25 back, that is a gamble that I would much rather take than turning in 25 players to get like five back for an 85-5 or something if they were to do uh, an SBC for that. So an 83 times 10, 85 times uh, 10, maybe maybe an 85 times 10 as a singular non-repeatable SBC. I doubt that, but it's a little early for the 85 times 10, but maybe an 83 times 25, 84, 10, something along those lines. Another upgrade pack like that, I would assume is going to come out today as well. So maybe you watch your lower tier fodder, not saying lower tier fodder is going to go up. Really right now, fodder is still just kind of going up on the higher tier because we had the refresh of that SBC yesterday of the 93 plus player pick. And then we've got, of course, more people doing the icon pack. Now, Benzema is 28,000 coins. How did 91s move yesterday? Let me see. Uh, from 26K up to 30. Where's my guy De Bruyne? I still haven't sold my Kevin De Bruyne as yet. Um, I think I maybe have about 15, 20 of them. Maybe even 25. He is 28,000 coins. I'm probably going to see if he can go a bit higher 
today into the week as the weekend league rewards are being opened and the tradable supply is slowing down. Your fodder should, I think, go up a little bit during the week this week. Todd's cards, man. Todd's cards were the real move. You could have picked those up at about 20,000 coins and all of those now look to be about 27K. Is that is that true? 27K for Todd's cards? Man, fodder moving in July. It's crazy. But hey, it is. That's right. 27,000 coins. So GG's if you picked up any of that 89, 88, 89, or 90 rated fodder. 90s, man. 90s might have been the best return on your investment. VVD was like 18, 19K, I think. Maybe 20K flat. And now he's 28,000 coins. Big W rise there. Um, it would have to take another player SBC like a McAllister, but with a lot of hype to really move fodder that much more. Um, it was probably honestly bonus. I forgot about that 93 plus shapeshifters uh, pick refreshing. That was kind of like bonus, honestly, that that refresh, that helps out your fodder a good amount. So I'm going to list up these De Bruyne's for lazies at like 30K. I'll probably do some of this tomorrow. This was just easy coins I knew when I saw his price at 22K. After he was out of packs last week, I think people were like listing his card up, trying to get out of the investment or, or whatever it was. Uh, because he was lower than all the other gold 91s by like three or 4,000 coins the other night. So I picked up about 20 of him. I've currently got a Nunez. I think I mentioned that. And I did buy a Chalmeni as well. So we're going to try to flip that Chalmeni. He did really well yesterday um, in the morning, but I sold too early. And uh, what is he right now? 1.3 flat. Yeah, it looks, he's, he's going to start getting around. He's going to start rising. The Real Madrid links here. There's a lot of popularity. There's a lot of hype. Um, and I, I don't like flipping cards that are that expensive just because there's so much tax, but this card, I don't mind. I really don't mind. I think people are going out and getting this one done. And, um, I should have picked up a Tiago Jello at like 32 K cause he's probably going to be like 40 or 42 this morning, uh, into the day on Monday, just because that's a card that I would expect to rise up a little bit. We still got 3.6 mil in the tank. I was going to buy Renato cause I'm not done with him yet, but uh, I didn't like the price. I really didn't. Renato is really, really rare though. He's probably going to go to like 4 mil, and then he's going to hopefully drop back down to about 3.5 at some point soon. I got to buy him today, though, to get some more objectives done and get some more games played. But, yeah, that's kind of the state of this game at the moment, man. So much gameplay grind. Um, it just, it's, it's sucking the life out of me a little bit. I will say this, doing co-op with the bros, that is a blast, all right? Co-op with the bros is an absolute blast, and we'll be doing probably some more of that today. I am 9 out of 12. We'll open this pack right now. 9 out of 12 on the daily login. So I got to make sure I do those the rest of the week so we can go 12 of 12 and get that done. Uh, but actually, co-op rivals has been some of the most fun gameplay that I've had in a long time, just playing with the lads recently. So I'm excited to do a little bit of, of that um, again this week. And man, we got to say this before, before we open this pack. These menus are absolutely atrocious. I don't know what other game is taking up EA server capacity right now. I don't know what is going on. Oh, baby, let's go. Who do we got here? Portuguese, center back. Hey, hey, just pack him. You don't have to buy him. There we go, man. Jago Jalo. Boom, straight into my objective team. But uh, as I was saying, these menus are absolutely awful, bro. I don't know what it is right now, but they are horrific. So I'm going to put that Tiago Jaldo on my team, and it's going to take me probably a whole other couple minutes to do that because the menus are so slow. But guys, we have some EAFC videos coming soon. Um, I'm trying to make a lot of content as much as I possibly can around that stuff because we got some pretty cool stuff coming, some pretty cool news, and some official EA released information, I think coming on Tuesday, according to the leaks. That was the one leak that I believe we did have yesterday. It was from FIFA U team, and I think this leak makes sense. I think this leak makes a lot of sense. He said, these guys tweeted out FC24 gameplay deep dive trailer on July 18th at 4 p.m. UK time. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense. And I would, uh, we'll, we'll be on on, um, on Tuesday at that time, or at least right around that time to look at the gameplay deep dive trailer, to look at the pitch notes more importantly, because we can learn a lot more from that than uh, necessarily watching the video. So that's some FC news that is upcoming that we have to look forward to. And just hopefully for some news this week for footies, man. Bring the pink cards. Bring the hype. I'll turn the background lights pink. We'll get it popping up in here. And we'll have some nice colorful cards with some big stat moves, stat upgrades, and maybe skill move upgrades as well to add to our ultimate team. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today, later today for some upgrade packs and a little bit more of Renato grind. Again, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I appreciate all the support. And I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate for the count and catch you guys there. Peace. Out.